Okay, so today I'm gonna install an electric brake controller on my motorhome. It's a 2001 Winnebago Journey, and so it's not pre-wired. A lot of the new ones are pre-wired for brake controllers, but the older models, um, doesn't matter what make, they're not pre-wired. So I got this kit from E-Trailer. It pretty much has everything you need. Um, the kit does not include the actual controller itself but I got the Takancha P3 brake controller. And I also ordered extra wire because the kit comes with 25 feet of wire and I need more than that. So this motorhome originally had a six pin connector, but the previous owner modified it to a four pin and also added this, I'm not really sure what that is, but they were, uh, dinghy towing or flat towing behind this motorhome. So I'll have to do a little bit more modification to kind of get things ready. Um, we'll be adding a seven pin connector. Now. So I'll start getting things wired up back here and then I'll, I will run this wire up into the cab and then we'll go from there. But this is where I will start. All right, so I started trying to remove that old six pin bracket and I started grinding on it a little bit and realized maybe it's not the best idea because I didn't want to risk cutting into this big steel frame. So I just bent it up with a hammer and mounted the new bracket off to the left. Otherwise I have everything back here hooked up. Obviously not uh, zip tied and put away yet but got it all hooked up. And then the wire I ran to the front goes into the blue and the black back here. So I ran this wire all the way along the frame. Uh, I tied in with the other wires running along the frame and just zip tied it to those and brought it all the way up to the front. So I'll go up there and show you what I'm working on. So I cut this little device out because I thought it was for the dinghy flat toe system and I didn't need it. But it turns out I do. Um, for the seven pin, the brakes, brake light, needs to be wired in with the left and right turn signals, which this device does. So I'll just wire it back in, no big deal, it'll take about five minutes. And then after that, we should be all set back here. All right, so I'm at the front of the motorhome now. I'm working in the generator access area, if you want to call it that. Got my wire up to the front, and right under here is a hole where you can push this wire through into the cap. So once I got it up in there, I cut the sheathing and separated the two wires because the white wire will go to the blue on your brake controller and the black needs to go to a circuit breaker. So I mounted my circuit breaker, one up there, one up there. That is the 40 amp and that is a 20 amp. We'll get to that in a second. So the black wire that I ran from the back up here will go to the auxiliary on that circuit breaker. Then you'll have to make a jumper that goes from that post to power. And then this other circuit breaker um, on the left post, the auxiliary post, you'll make a jumper that goes from that to the black wire on your brake controller and then that post will also go to power. So just to recap, this circuit breaker on the right is the 40 amp. The post on the left is the wire coming from the back. The copper post on the right goes to power. This 20 amp circuit, the post on the left is going to the black on the brake controller and the copper post on the right is going to power. So just to show you how I ran power, um, I just made little jumpers coming off those circuit breakers on the copper posts and ran them over to right here. Um, on my panel, that was listed as battery feed cable. So there's plenty of juice right there to tap in for power. And uh, this uh, area where I'm working and getting power and all that is right in the front of the motor home above the generator. I don't know if I uh, clarified that, but that's where I'm hooking all that up. 
Okay, so I'm inside the cab now. Uh, the brake controller has a wire harness that comes with it. There's four wires that come out of it. A black, a blue, a red, and a white. The black will go to that 20 amp circuit breaker that I showed you earlier. From there it goes to power, to power your brake controller. The blue wire gets hooked up to the white wire that we ran all the way from the back of the motorhome. The red will go to the brake switch, which I'll show you in a second. And then the white is ground. So underneath the motorhome, right under where your uh, foot pedals are for your brake and your gas, is this little unit. And you have to tap in to one of these wires for the red wire coming out of the back of your brake controller. So I used a voltmeter and found out that this white wire was what was signaling the brake lights when the brake pedal was pushed. So tap into that and that's about all you need to do for wiring. Okay, so we got the controller all wired up, everything's on. Got the trailer hooked up and we will test all of our lights.